Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing Mitt Romney versus Joe Biden. So this is pretty much a, I seen Red Eagle do this video about, you know, impeaching Trump being political suicide, but I'm just going to be, uh, this scenario of Romney versus Biden, if impeachment were to happen, and Romney gets the nomination. Because, you know. So I already had these, uh, tilt states, uh, filled out, and yes, once again, I am recording on my phone. 212 safe electoral votes for, uh... Joe Biden and 114 for Mitt Romney. So let's uh, fill out the map. I think Ari uh, not Arizona, uh, Nevada will end up being likely. Arizona will be tilt again due to this whole thing. I don't think Romney's going to have that presence that... Mm, hold on. Romney is going to be a weaker candidate than he was in 2012 just because of, you know, it'll be revealed that he was backing the, you know, uh, the impeachment of Donald Trump. He's going to have Republicans not turn out for him. He's going to ha he's going to end up losing Nevada, almost close to losing Arizona. Okay. It's like uh, Texas is going to be won by a low lower margin because te Texas and Republicans are not going to come out there for Mitt Romney because uh, Texas Republicans enjoy Trump being president. Not a lot of people in Texas want Trump impeached unless they're a Democrat. As well as Nebraska's second congressional district, it's going to be close. Uh, Biden's going to be close to winning that state, and uh, we can all thank Romney for that. Uh, say goodbye to um, winning uh, Minnesota. It'll be won by liking margins, yes, but still. Arizona, I'm going to go back to my original belief. I think uh, Joe Biden's going to appeal to voters in that state. He was going to claim it as his own, as a home, as one of his home states. And he's going to win that state. In the Rust Belt, he's going to win Wisconsin by till. He's going to win Pennsylvania by lean. He's going to win Michigan by a nine-point margin, just like I said in his video against Trump. I had him winning by a lower likely margin, but this time I feel like he's going to end up winning it around the same margin Trump won Iowa. It's going to be close. I think Romney will end up winning Ohio by tilled margin since Kasich is on the ticket. Since Ohioans love John Kasich, and I think that's the main reason why he wins Ohio. Indiana is going to be likely. Um, North Carolina voters are not going to be happy with uh, Romney being the new uh, candidate, or new Republican candidate. And especially since it's out there that, you know, he was the reason why Trump got impeached in the Senate. He was, he was the reason why he got removed from office. And North Carolina will go tilt. Georgia will end up being lean in this scenario. Um, this is pretty much a nightmare for Republicans since Joe Biden's president now. Yes, Joe Biden, Presidente. I honestly believe Florida would flip in this scenario. I think it's all going to be because of Andrew Yang. Andrew Yang is going to go out there in the Panhandle of Peninsula, try to go out those voters for Joe Biden, and that's exactly what's going to happen. Say goodbye to flipping New Hampshire, guys. It's going to be close. It's going to be likely. And Maine at large. Um, you guys are Maine at large, actually, say. But I do think um, Romney will end up winning Maine at large, not by a big margin, maybe by, like, lean. But, uh, guys, here's the final map. Hopefully you can see that. Guys, this is what will happen if it's Mitt Romney versus Joe Biden in 2020. Joe Biden wins 313 electoral votes, not 350 something like Obama did, but still. But um, so guys, uh, how'd you enjoy this video? I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, click that bell for notifications. My Twitter is Parkcast21. If you want to go follow me there, this is the Catacomb saying, peace.